Hello, my dear gardening friends. It is good to be back into the garden. And today, in this video, we are going to talk about five major mistakes which beginner rosarians can, can make in taking care of these beautiful roses, beautiful blooms in our gardens. I also will share with you a schedule uh, for uh, rosarians who grow roses in the US. I will give you the link. Uh, a major schedule what to do with your roses during the year. So mistake number one. Very often beginner rosarians want their roses to bloom continuously all the way to the end of the fall and they make a mistake of feeding their roses with fertilizers which are high in nitrogen. So for the beginner gardeners who don't know, when we pick up the fertilizer package from the store, almost always at the back panel there would be three different numbers. And the first number would be the number N, nitrogen. It stands for nitrogen. And nitrogen is responsible for beautiful, lush growth of any plant. And it's very valuable, especially in spring, when the fresh uh, push of green is so strong. But when our roses are in the middle of their second bloom, you see they're forming these wonderful bloods, uh, not bloods, buds. Mm and uh, they are focusing on this second flush of blooms. We don't want them to continue uh, blossoming and continue creating new leaves and pushing new stems. Uh, roses do take time to prepare themselves for hibernation. The stems become harder, their new growth um, becomes stronger, and of course they are forming hips. Uh, so if we feed our roses with um, fertilizers high in nitrogen, Roses starts pushing new growth and um, it interferes with uh, rose preparation for dormancy. So that is the biggest mistake people make. They want their roses to continue blooming, of course. Who doesn't like beautiful blooms? But this is the time in August, September when we have to slow down on fertilizing our roses. Some rosarians, oh, there is a big wine around my rose. So some rosarians, uh, continue fertilizing their roses in uh, the end of uh, uh, fall and this is because they live in different parts of US or the world. But uh, thanks to David Austin Company, which created this marvelous, beautiful map of US, basically they divided US in different regions according to weather conditions and they give a basic schedule and here is the link for roses to take for taking care of the roses in the gardens. Uh, I think it's a very useful link and every rosarian should know about it. So for gardeners in warmer climates, uh, this would be the time, August, September, to feed the roses again. But for me, who garden in zone 6, 7, coastal Connecticut, so we are talking about North East USA, this is the time to start to prepare our roses for the hibernation of the winter. Mistake number two. Beginner gardeners very often start the spring with watering their roses well and deep. That's correct, that's what we should do. And they continue the same watering schedule through the season. They make mistake of keeping the same watering amount. And uh, the time in the fall is the time when we have to slow down on watering, uh, which again signalizes to roses that this is the time to slow down growing, not creating, by the way, these long shoots. Um, this is um, uh, Olivia Austin rose and it uh, looks like she is a little bit of an octopus rose. So what I do with these blind shoots, with these tall big shoots, I will just cut them right here and hide them in the uh, bush mass of the rose. So now is the time for us to slow down on watering. Uh, rose is going to survive, don't worry about it. For example, this rose is only one year old in my garden. I planted it this spring and we went on vacation, not on vacation, we went to bring our oldest son uh, to college, talking about changing garden, changing lives, right? And uh, I left the garden unattended. I hired, not hired, I asked people to water the back porch plants and some selective plants in the garden, but the rest of the garden was not watered, including this rose, because I knew that roses 
uh, at this stage of life, when they are in the ground for at least half a year, they can take care of themselves. And look at this rose, blooming galore after one week of severe drought. So don't worry, roses can look very uh, gentle and very soft, but they are tenacious survivors which are living on our planets on our planet for many thousands of years. So mistake number two, uh, watering as usual and not slowing down when rose is approaching the fall. Mistake number three. During the cozy day of the fall, beautiful autumn sun, we want to become uh, comfortable at home and we are not as much in the garden. And we don't keep a close look around uh, our roses, we don't look around what's happening underneath near the root system. And at this time, a lot of uh, uh, little mice and uh, moles are looking for little hotels for winter and they can create a home near the root system of roses because uh, it's a good thing to cover uh, the area where roses grow with uh, mulch of your choice. Uh, for example me, I do it with uh, uh, bark a shredded bark. I consider it a good uh, natural way of protecting roots from evaporation and strong summer rays uh, of sun. So in the fall mistake number three would be that some gardeners don't pay attention to what's going on under their roses and they can miss the hotel visitors, little mice and little rodents who can be happily creating uh, houses in the mulch. So the quicker you notice it the quicker you will get them out and discourage them from uh, making tunnels in uh, the mulch. Now mistake number four. We want roses and the way to get roses we deadhead. So another mistake, people continue deadheading their roses, which we should again in our area, northeast US, where we have strong, fairly strong winters, we should slow down on deadheading. We want to allow rose finally to create those hips and creation of hips uh, signals to the plant that it's time to go into dormancy. And some roses create beautiful hips. I didn't see yet the hips of uh, my uh, Olivia Austin rose. Again, it's a baby rose in my garden, but look at the beautiful growth it created for the first year. Um, so soon after these blo uh, blossoms, finished blossoming, and they're going to go into hips, I will leave them alone and will enjoy a flower here and a flower there, whatever this rose will decide to give me. And finally, Mistake number five. Beginner rosarians had such a successful, wonderful time with the garden and they get tired in taking care of the garden and they leave all the debris going to winter under the rose bush. And all these leaves are falling down. Uh, they create a nice little environment where a lot of diseases can hibernate. So rosarians, beginner rosarians can make a mistake of not cleaning up under their roses uh, during this uh, time of fall. A lot of leaves fall naturally and of course uh, leaves on the ground is a natural thing. But we don't want that to happen to the roses. Roses are such um, highly developed plants in our gardens so they do need some extra care and extra care would be to really keep the area around the root system nice and clean. So that's mistake number five. I hope this video was helpful. Please do subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm creating for you. Happy gardening! I will see you next time.